Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, uh, here, let me let me just get propped up in my seat because we've got something uh, pretty crazy to talk about today. Uh, basically, today, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, Ford. Now, I know I make a, a couple, or I've made a couple of, you know, manufacturer videos and all that, and I've been talking about manufacturers, and today it's Ford's turn because I uh, Ford has done a couple of things in the past few years, and I wanted to just talk about why Ford has ruined their cars. Uh, there's somebody spam risk is calling me. Ford recently has been screwing up with their new cars, and I'm just gonna go ahead right out and say that the main reason for this is because of technology. I can't say this 100%, I don't have much evidence, but, you know, this isn't the only thing that Ford has done in, like, the past, I don't know, few years or so. There is something that just happened that I will be talking about after <coughs> I talk about, you know, technology and all that, but well, that's what we are going to kind of start with here. So, uh, recently, as you know, guys, my, uh, my last name's Ford, and not that that has any reasoning behind, like, why my family drives Fords, but... Most of my dad's side of the family drives Fords. They daily Ford F-150s and Ford Expeditions, some of Ford's most popular models. And uh, basically, uh, this, like, recently, uh, oh my god, the dogs are distracting me. They're sitting there barking. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm just going to completely ignore downstairs. This is why I don't record inside. But back to what I was saying, we were talking about Ford here. But recently, uh, the first thing that happened, the first mishap with Ford was uh, my dad's truck had uh, basically broken down. I, I don't even, like, I, I'm pretty sure it blew up. And from what I hear, the reasoning behind that was because of a performance chip that he put in the truck to make it, you know, higher performance. Now, I can't say anything for sure. I'm not sure what happened, but I was there to see the burnt out motor and you know it i feel like the the main reason all this happened to that motor was because of performance chips it was because of all the performance aspects the exhaust and the cooling system couldn't take it and the the engine burnt uh now i will say uh he is going to be getting his truck back he's getting the engine fixed because you know he wouldn't just go right out and sell that very expensive truck uh, it's an F-250 or whatever, but that, uh, is not the only thing that has happened recently. Uh, number two is the Expedition. Uh, the Expedition, just a few days ago when we were coming home, well, actually, this was a while ago, uh, basically, when the Expedition went out and, like, when, when they were driving it, uh, something happened with the 10-speed automatic transmission inside of the Expedition. Now, these 10 speeds are very, like, famous now, and they're all the, the dial transmission, there no, there's no shift knob, there's a dial now. And, uh, basically, uh, it, it would, like, do this thing where it shifted into neutral for a moment, revved up, like, to max RPM, and then just went back into drive. I believe this was part of the problems, because this actually happened while I was in that vehicle, and... That we had to end up bringing it into a Ford dealership to get it fixed up. And so far, it has been there three different times. Because they said that not, there's nothing wrong with it. The people said that there's nothing wrong with it. But it's still having mishaps. Along with some other small issues. Just, just one. Like, it was like something with the airbag. Uh, that was a little bit dangerous. It had some recalls, and recently Ford has been having a lot of recalls on their newer vehicles. It's just in general a problem with technology and advancements. Ford is having trouble keeping up, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, they're going to get used to it at some point, and again, Fords will be built tough. But uh, that, that kind of gets into our next uh, topic with this, because recently... Ford has done something absolutely outrageous uh, that might... I mean, it really depends on who you are. Everything depends on who you are. But this really depends on who you are because 
Uh, Ford recently put out a new commercial about the very gay raptor. Uh, it's interesting that I'm saying that. I never thought I would ever say that. But um, apparently there is a, a new commercial for the Ranger. And in that commercial, the trucks are driving through the mud. And one of them drives through a puddle of water and it reveals the paint of that truck as a rainbow. And then something comes up on screen that shows built tough and then tough changes to something else. Uh, it was it was very surprising to most Ford fans because, you know, a lot of people who drive Fords nowadays are, you know, trucks and they're country people. They're mainly there are people that wouldn't Republicans, Republicans. All right, we're getting political on YouTube here. I'm not even sure if that's allowed because I don't read guidelines, but I, I'm sure it's fine. But uh, if I am allowed to, I will go ahead and share the commercial up on screen very soon. Uh, and really, that's what's been happening with Ford recently. There isn't much to go over, but really I just thought that these things that have been happening recently with Ford are a little bit of a mishap. And, uh, you know, although they aren't terrible vehicles, uh, I'm, I'm sure they'll, you know, return to their better state, their you know, 90s and 2000s state uh, very soon. But with how things are going, uh, it's not looking too good for Ford. But hopefully they'll turn everything around and satisfy their customers and become built tough once again. That's about all I had to say for this video. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.